Close your eyes, get back in touch with your breath. If the mind has been running around all morning, now's the time for it to settle down. If it's already settled down, just try to dig in a little bit more deeply. You try to maintain mindfulness as you go through the day. And sometimes it spills out. The image they have in the canon is of a man with a bowl of oil on his head, filled to the brim. And he's walking between a crowd of people on one side and a beauty queen on another side. The beauty queen is singing and dancing, and the crowd of people is all excited about the beauty queen. The man has to walk between them, and behind him is another man with a sword raised, ready to cut off the first man's head if even a drop of oil spills. Now, for most of us, our heads would have been knocked off very early this morning. But fortunately, you can get your head back on again, screw it on again. It's just an image to remind you that you should try to be earnest in keeping your mindfulness together. But if it comes only in bits and spurts, well, you re maintain what little bits and pieces you have. Don't throw them away. A strong concentration, strong mindfulness comes from little bits and pieces first. And you learn how to stitch them together. Try to notice when, when you're focused on the breath, what knocks you off. It's going to tell you a lot about the mind's defilements. But for the time being, you say, I don't care what the defilements are, I'm going to go back on. Get back on the breath. You have to have that kind of determination, that kind of focus and that kind of patience. The patience that's willing to keep coming back, coming back, coming back, and doesn't give up. It's our only ticket out of here. It's like that Far Side cartoon where there's two penguins. One penguin is playing the piano, the other one has a straw hat and a cane. And the one with the straw hat says, no, no, take it again from the top, this is our only ticket out of here. We're stuck in this world where we found ourselves in this world, where there's a lot of unskillful behavior. But there's a lot of good people, too, and a lot of goodness going around, too. And one of the good thing about goodness is that you can create it from within. It doesn't have to depend on other people's. So you can create the kind of goodness that can get you out of here. So look inside. We all have these potentials. It's a matter of learning how to recognize them, nurture them, look after them, allow them to grow. It's like growing a tree. If you try to pull the tree to make it tall the way you want it, you uproot it. So if it's a small tree, well, you still water the roots, pick off any bugs, give it some fertilizer, and the tree will grow. Your duty is to look after it. The growing is the duty of the tree. So you look after the breath and the good qualities that you want in the mind, the peace that you want, the concentration that you want, they'll develop as you stick with the practice, as you stick with the causes. So keep your focus there and keep coming back, coming back. Think of that young Zen student in, in the Middle East, in, excuse me, in the Midwest who's kind of come to Hollywood to try his fortune in the movie industry. And so he told his Zen teacher he was going to come out to California. And the Zen teacher said, what, what are you going to do if they knock you down? And the student said, well, I guess I'll have to accept that. And the teacher said, no, they knock you down, you get back up again. They knock you down, you get back up again. Keep at it, keep at it, keep at it. And we can have that kind of patience and that kind of determination. The results are sure to come. Just make sure you get the causes right, and the results will have to grow. <laughs>